if x is not equal to y then x square is not equal to y square so this is the contrapositive of the given statement student score better marks but i have to write not q so therefore if the students do not score better marks then the questions are not easy the conjunction means and and statement is true when both the statements are true in all the other cases it is false hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore in this session we are going to take revision on mathematical logic so what are the type of questions we will get from this chapter there one mark two marks and five mark question let's see the distribution of marks so you have part a part b part c part d part e section in your question paper in that you will get one one mark question one two mark question in part b and one five mark question in part d so in total you will get eight marks from this chapter so let's take few questions on one mark two mark and five questions so one mark questions negate the proposition negation p conditional q so we know the rule that is negation p conditional q or negation of any conditional statement is equivalent to p conjunction negation of q p conjunction negation of q now here we are negating negation p conditional q so from the statement here p has to be written in the form of p only so therefore this is not p so now this is conjunction that is and not q so this is negation p and or we can say conjunction negation q or we can say not p and not q next negate the proposition 4 is an even integer or 7 is a prime number so when we are negating p or q then it has to be written in the form of not p and not q so this is a rule of negation so here we have 4 is an even integer so negating means we have to write 4 is not an even integer instead of r we are going to use and 7 is not a prime number so you have to write the statement as 4 is not an even integer and 7 is not a prime number next write the inverse of the proposition so inverse means you have to negate both the statements here so inverse here becomes if x into x minus 2 is not equal to 0 then x is not equal to 2 suppose you have any conditional statement like p conditional q then not p conditional not q will become the inverse so therefore here if x into x minus 2 is not equal to 0 then x is not equal to 2 next symbolize the proposition 2 plus 5 is equal to 6 or all integers are rational let me consider 2 plus 5 is equal to 6 as one statement i'll take it as p we have or here so let me use the disjunction symbol or all integers are rational that is one more statement q so we have written p disjunction q next symbolize the proposition if oxygen is a gas then gold is a compound let me consider oxygen is a gas as one statement gold is a compound as another statement we have a conditional statement here so therefore we can symbolically write this as p implies q next let's see the two marks question so the maximum questions you might get from the two marks is to write the converse and contrapositive of the given statement or they might have given you to find the truth values of the given statement so let's see the questions write the converse and contrapositive of the proposition x square is equal to y square then x is equal to y so here if condition and then condition so if p conditional q is given so inverse is nothing but we have already seen in the one mark question not p implies not q so converse is nothing but 
we have to write it in the form of Q implies P. So, contrapositive means, so contrapositive means we have to write it as not Q implies not P. Okay. So, now here write the converse. So, if you want to write the converse here, we have to write if x is equal to y, then x square is equal to y square. So, this statement will consider as P, this statement will consider as Q. So, Q implies P will be like this. And contrapositive is if x is not equal to y, then x square is not equal to y square. So, this is the contrapositive of the given statement. Next, write the converse and contrapositive of the proposition. If the questions are easy, then the student score better marks. So, I will take the questions are easy as P, student score better marks as Q. So, we have P conditional Q now. Now, I have to write the converse. How to write the converse? Converse means Q implies P. So, what to write here? I have to write if the student score better marks, then the questions are easy. So, I have to write it like this. If the student score better marks, then the questions are easy. So, next I need to write contrapositive. So, not Q implies not P. So, which Q statement is student score better marks, but I have to write not Q. So, therefore, if the students do not score better marks, then the questions are not easy. So, not easy can also be replaced by the word difficult. So, if the students do not score better marks, then the questions are not easy. So, we have to write those statement and that is contrapositive. Next, if P, Q and R are the propositions with the truth value false, true, false respectively, then find the truth value of the compound proposition P conditional, Q conditional, R. So, first let us write what are the truth values of P, Q and R. So, P, Q and R is given as false, true, false. Let us find out Q conditional, R. So, when I have conditional statement, your first statement is true, second statement is false, then it is false. So, for any amplification, if we have true false combination, then it is false and in all other cases, it is true. Next, we will take P conditional, Q conditional R. So, we are taking the amplification from P to Q conditional R. So, both are false here. So, the statement can become true. So, in conditional, only the statement which is true and false is false. In all the other cases, it is true. So, therefore, the given compound proposition is true. Next, if not P or Q or not R is a false proposition, then find the truth values of P, Q and R. So, we know that in R condition or disjunction, if both the statements are false, then the given compound proposition is false. So, therefore, given that not P or Q or not R is false. So, this implies if this is the first statement, this is the second statement. Both the statements are false, then only the disjunction is false there. So, therefore, we can imply negation P or Q is false and negation R is false. Now again you have two statements here. This is false. This implies negation P is false, Q is false and here we have got negation R is false. So therefore we should get R is true. So, this implies if negation P is false, we should get P is true, Q is false and R is true. So, therefore, my truth value will be T F T. Next, let us look at the 5 marks question. So, 5 marks question basically they will give you the compound proposition to verify whether they are a contradiction statement or a tautology or they might have given you to verify whether they are logically equivalent statement. So, here 
examine whether the proposition given here both the statements are given they are logically equivalent or not so that means the column where you will find write this proposition as well as the column where you will write this proposition must be identical so let's look at it now so i have written the column here based on the compound proposition so let me take p as true true false false q as true false true false so we need here p negation q so we need negation q here so negation q means false true false true next we need to take the conjunction of these two statement conjunction means and and statement is true when both the statements are true in all the other cases it is false so only in the second case it is true in all the other cases it is false next we need to take the following statement disjunction with q so that means i need to take the disjunction of these two column that is or statement or statement is false when both the statements are false and in all other cases it is true so except the last case in all the other cases we can consider them as true statement so it is t t t f and we know p disjunction q is same t t t f so see here column 4 and column 5 are identical okay so we can conclude that column 4 and 5 are identical identical so therefore we can conclude that so p conjunction not q disjunction q is equivalent to p or q or p disjunction q if the columns are not identical then we'll say that they are not logically equivalent next verify whether the proposition is a tautology or a contradiction or neither so what do you mean by tautology so when you verify the statements like this or any compound proposition like this if you get all the true false combination as true then we'll say it is a tautology if all of them are false we'll say it's a contradiction statement if it is neither tautology nor contradiction then it will be in the combination of true false method so now here let us verify this first we need negation q here then we'll take conditional with negation q again we'll negate the statement in the second statement we'll take negation p by conditional with q so then we will check whether it is a tautology contradiction or neither so i have taken the columns here so let me take p as t t f f t f t t t f so negation q is f t f t i need p conditional q p conditional q or the second statement is false when p is true this is false so let's see the true false combination true false false we can take and true false true false true false so in then in all other cases it is true next we need to take the negation of the statement negation of the statement is true false 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 the next thing is we'll take negation p so negation p is false false true true next we'll take negation p by conditional with q so these two column we need to check by conditional is true when both are true and true when both are false that means if the truth values in the columns are same then it is true if they are different then it is false so it is true false false next we have false false so it is true next we have true 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 next we have false true false now let me take this as a and this is b now we need to find out a or b that is we need to verify the disjunction property we know that it is false when both the truth values are false so let us see these two columns now so both or false means it is false and in all other cases we have to consider it as true so clearly we can see here this 
statement is neither tautology nor contradiction. So next one, prove that P or Q and not P and not Q is a contradiction. So if we want to show that it is a contradiction, then the last column should be false for all the truth values. Let's check it. First, we need to find out disjunction between P and Q. Then we need to find out conjunction between not P and not Q. Then again, we need to take the conjunction of both the statements. So now, let's take P as true, true, false, false. Q as true, false, true, false. And P or Q is false when both are false. And in all other cases, it is true. Now, negation P is false, false, true, true. Negation Q is false, true, false, true. So we are finding the conjunction between them. It is true when both the statements are true. So here it is true and in all other cases, we'll consider them as false. Next again, we need to take the conjunction. So conjunction means if both the statements are true, it is true. In all other cases, it is false. So let's check the conjunction between these two columns. So for the first one, it is false. For the second one also it is false. For the third one also it is false. For the fourth combination also it is false. So observe the column here. We are getting F, 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 F for all the possible pairs of your truth values in the two columns. So therefore clearly we can say the given compound proposition is a contradiction statement. So this is how we will verify the tautology, contradiction or logically equivalent statement using the truth table. So we have seen the type of questions in this chapter you may expect for your examination and we'll meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.